guys, this is Katrina with IDTV, and I'm here with Jeff, the awesome composer here. So hey, Jeff, how's it going? It's going pretty great. This is fun. WonderCon. Right? It's my first time, so... It is my first time as oh well. Oh my gosh, cheers, I've never really. Been, I've, never, I've never conned. I've, uh, this is actually my first WonderCon, but this is awesome. This is the biggest one I've been. So how's your experience been here? Oh, this place is great. You know, um, I've done so much work in film and TV, but now I'm here because of a video game that I scored uh, called Devil May Cry 5, right? Yeah, okay. The enthusiasm and the fan base is off the hook, isn't it? I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, you know, you're going to have to educate with me with that because, you know, I'm always new in the, especially with like FX and composing and gaming. Yeah. Um, but I am definitely creative. Camera. Yes, behind the camera. So tell me, how, how has that been and, and what has this whole experience been with like as composing and your new um, project that you have here? Oh, well, you know, for me, everything is about storytelling, right? Yes. Everybody who's here is here about storytelling, whether it's a movie or a TV series or a video game. It's always about storytelling. And so, what does it take to tell a story? It takes so many things. It's, it's emotional, it's creative, it's technical. And I kind of function in that place in between emotion and creative where I didn't write the words, I didn't act, and yet music is like a character in a way. So in a way, I kind of think of myself like a character actor, but instead of using words, I use sounds and instruments. and and. It's a lot of fun, you know. I get to I get to have a lot of fun all day, basically manipulating people's feelings. And I love that because I really do love music. I used to play the violin growing up, um, you. and I like you know just did like your any. Make you? They kind of did, <laughs> um, but I, I think it's really important to kind of think about how strong um, music is encompassed in all these things. Yeah. So what did you do as like um, when you were younger and how did you get into this industry? You know, I started off kind of in the record business and uh, I, was, uh, I was programming drum machines and keyboards and doing all this sort of technical musical stuff for records. And, uh, but that was such a great, that was school. I, I learned so much because I, I dropped out of school. I dropped out of college. Saves a lot of money, by the way. I recommend it. And uh, I shouldn't say that. Um, I mean, you know, USC. So uh, it's been in the news lately. I know. We've been in a lot of fire. So actually, um, no. <laughs> that wasn't you, though, was it? Not me, not me. <laughs> um, so eventually, I started working with a lot of film composers, doing kind of the same thing, you know, being kind of a, a part of the, the team. But that's where I really learned. That was like movie school. That was like film school, TV school, was watching these astonishing composers. I spent years working with Hans Zimmer and just a whole bevy of really amazing guys. And with everything, I learned more and more. And then finally, I got to do my own thing. And I started off in TV, and then I morphed into some games, and then back into TV and films. So um, for me, Music is music, getting the opportunity to make music, but especially music that connects with an audience. You know, that's a really, really different thing. I'm not, a, you know, I'm not up on stage, I'm not a performer. When you're a performer, you get that feedback, you get this, the, the applause and you get the, the fans you know, screaming and singing along. I don't get to do that in a way what I do is a little more intellectual, but it's not. So I get this opportunity, when, no matter what I'm doing, to get into the deepest emotional level of whatever it is. It was fun doing it in the album world, you know, in the record world, recording biz, but doing it in, in TV and film and games is the best. And I'm always curious, how do you do that? Because you want to be, is it like a, you have to be vulnerable? How do you, how do you find that? I'm, I'm just so um, intrigued by all this. Well, you know, that's a good question. And honestly, I think it has a one word answer. Uh, open-mindedness which I think is a hyphenated word, but open-mindedness is the key to, well, a lot of things in life, you know. What are you, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to experience? And, you know, so my job is to see what's on the screen, respond to it, but take it somewhere it hasn't been yet. So I have to imagine, I mean, if you've ever seen a movie or a TV show without the music in it, it's radical. It sounds, it, 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 it's a different experience altogether, like way different. So music is like this secret weapon that storytellers use to 
make some make something magical happen because in real life there's no you know there's no music you know it's like the cherry on top of the ice cream that really just makes that you know busts into tears when you yeah. have that all come together well you know I mean, I, without sounding cliche, music is maybe the single universal language. We all connect to music. Very, f if you meet somebody who doesn't like music or doesn't listen to music, don't do not be friends with them. Do do not get into a relationship with them. They're probably a probably a psychopath. Um, that's harsh, right? But uh, but you you know what I mean. And so when you bring music into the realm of storytelling, TV, movies, games, you are taking real life and you're elevating it to something that doesn't exist and somehow that's how we connect to the characters and we connect to the stories and the plots and that is super cool honestly it takes a lot of gift and talent to be able to draw those two together and i'm very moved by just hearing this process oh. through you no yeah, i really do love music yeah so and thank you so much it's been a pleasure meeting and learning about how you My are as a composer too. all right back to the violin <laughs> no, that was a while back a while so no back. all right Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, cheers. This is Katrina with IDA TV.